Hello folks, today's mission is a simple one. Let's find out how much current that the MG2 power stage of a Toyota Yaris inverter converter can provide. So for the purposes of this we have one Yaris inverter converter rigged up to about 80 volts worth of batteries. Uh, batteries are connected in here on the high voltage bus on the side. We have the a old motor stator here to provide an inductive load. And we have our trusty Fluke RMS clamp meter on here. So we're going to put the inverter in manual mode. Start winding current in there until it either shuts down or goes bang. And we're going to catch it on video this time. Okay, liquid cooling is on. We're ready to rock. Let's wake her up. A little three amps just to uh, just to get us warmed up here. Thirty amps. Now keep in mind this is RMS current that's being measured. You multiply this by one point four one four to get the peak. Sixty five amps. Ooh, nearly a hundred. Let's see if we can get a hundred. There we go. There's a hundred and about a hundred and twelve, hundred and thirteen amps. So I'm gonna let her sit there for a minute or two and I'm gonna to report to you guys our heat sink temperature because the latest seems to be that, oh, it'll never sustain that particular uh, current. So let's see what we've got. Heat sink is warming up. We're at 40 degrees at the minute. I'm scared. And we do have cool and flow. It's not particularly fast, but it is flowing. We're still maintaining 110 amps in here. It's dropping back because in this case our battery is probably dropping in voltage and we're running a fixed PWM here. Okay, let's halt there. One sec, let me stop you there. And we're down to zero. Okay folks, we're back. Just upgraded firmware here. Uh, the previous firmware uh, didn't allow me to change the heatsink uh, temperature setting. So I've got that right now. So let's get back to it then. Ooh, 130 amps. Scary. 150. 160. 200 amperes RMS. Getting scared. Two twenty five, two forty, two fifty, two sixty, two sixty five, two seventy. This is RMS current, folks. 
275. Heading for 300. Everything is starting to shake over here now. The whole magnetic fields in here would be pretty crazy. Just pushing over 300 amps now. My cables are going to start melting soon. So let's see. There's 300 amps being maintained into that motor stator. Uh, let's go to our spot values. I'm just waiting for the bang. I've got a finger in one ear. <laughs> uh, let's go here. Yeah, wow, my current sensors are definitely working. Um, my current sensor is telling me 456 peak amps right now, which is about right. Um, our heatsink is at uh, 43.7 degrees centigrade. If we can believe that, I'm sure the internet won't. Uh, we're definitely seeing some melting cable going on here now. I'm getting a smell. There's something happening. Oh crap, there's smoke coming from somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's smoke. I'm definitely seeing smoke. This is bad, folks. Is the inverter going to go first or will the motor go? There's definitely smoke coming from this area here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to panic Motley and I'm going to shut us down here a bit because um, I don't think the Toyota engineers are going to be too happy with me so uh, well, oh yeah I think the motor is definitely burning out oh yeah oh the motor is burning out okay <laughs> yeah okay um, so I'm going to say that's uh, Yaris Inverter 1, go me motor nil. Anyone want to, ooh, is there smoke coming out of the inverter? Oh, the cables are, so oh, ow, ow. Yeah, the cables are seriously toasty. Um, it's only 16 square, it was the most I could um, fit in here. What's my coolant like? Well, my coolant is pretty warm. My coolant is definitely about 40 or 50 degrees right now. No doubt about that. Um, so it's definitely dumping heat into the coolant. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, it's probably just the insulation on these cables that was starting to go. Um, who wants to see the motor burn out? Me? You? I don't know, let's give it a bit more, let's see if we can burn out the motor or burn out the in inverter. I've had a bit of an annoying week, so I need to, I need to have a controlled expl explosion here. All right, there's 120 amps, 170 amps, again RMS here folks. Right, there's 220 RMS amps going into this thing now. This is from MG2 on our Yaris inverter alone. Uh, what I'm hoping is that if something does melt, that someone in the YouTube comments will tell everyone what, you know, what kind of what um, timestamp in the video that the fun stuff happen so you don't all have to sit through this crap. Let's see how long it can take 200, and 200 odd amps. Let's give it a little more. Oh go on, give me a little bit more it said. Yeah there's, eh, come on. Stupid sag. There's 230. The stress testing our Yaris Inverter. Also stress testing the Gomi mo motor stator. It's a fitting death for this particular motor um, because it was a source of so much pain for me. Some other unfortunate soul on the open inverter forum I think is trying to make one of those work. Can't say I'd recommend it.
some other guy managed to buy one for fifty pounds. I think the inverter that is not the motor as well, fairly recently. Let's see what the magnetic field inside that stator is like right now. I'm feeling adventurous. Let's get a screwdriver in this case, a nut driver. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we got magnetism. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, crap. Crap, crap. I'm hearing weird creaking sounds in there. Yeah, I think our insulation is going. Oh, there's smoke. We got smoke. We definitely got smoke. You see, it fooled me the last time, right? Because I thought that smoke was coming from the inverter. I started to lose my nerve, folks. I started to lose it. I said to myself, oh, the, wow, the, the, I'm gonna just let you over here for a bit, but the uh, water in the um, bucket is starting to warm up too. There's some steam coming from it. Ooh. Should I maybe have you guys like that so you can see the steam and the smoke, you know, for that kind of double trouble affair? Um, yeah, I think that it's either the cable is going to let go first or the... Um, I should also probably tell you at this point that I don't have a fuse anywhere in this particular circuit and that my emergency disconnect is basically a wire cutters. So yeah, probably not the cleverest. Oh yeah, those those cables are starting to warm up as well. My feeder cables are definitely warming up. I'm going to dedicate this video to the people that say that the you know the Prius and the Rs inverters and that would very quickly overheat at a, you know at 100 amps and then they couldn't maintain the temperature. They couldn't maintain the current and couldn't um well they just wouldn't work very well so this is for you guys but of course obviously i'm faking all this um i've actually really only putting 20 amps into it i've managed to i've wrapped 10 turns of wire through the multimeter i've got a heater warming up the coolant um and uh, what else have i done here just to make this fake um, I don't know, but I, I came up with some kind of a plan anyway. So we're boiling the coolant. Um, we are melting the insulation of the wiring and the motor stator. We're maintaining 220 RMS amps for I don't know how long. This uh, workshop is turning into a boat of smoke and a steam bath, so I guess that's good for my health. Um, and we're waiting for something to go bang here. I'm waiting for either the inverter to let go or the motor stator to melt down or something. Um, so, yeah. So far, uh, I think my phone is probably going to run out of memory before something happens here. But I don't know. But well, this is, yeah, I mean, this is for, like, I think the PVC on the on the wiring, it's only 16 square, so yeah, the PVC is definitely probably going to catch fire fairly soon. Um, and, uh... Yeah, to so say it's a fitting death for that particular motor stator. Um, hearing popping sounds. Got my finger on the stop button here. Okay. Okay, something we just cut off. Uh, so I think we are. Oh. Oh, you know what just happened? Oh boy, sorry about this folks, but um, my pump burnt out and shorted out the power supply. Yeah, the pump's just burnt out. Oh boy, well that wasn't the thing I was expecting to fail. And of course the multimeter had to stop as well. But, oh Jesus, that's hot. Ow. 
Uh, oh no, AC current, please. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else is gone, but maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something else gone. Just disconnected the high voltage. That's yeah, no, that's it. It was in fact the um, it was in fact the pump burnt out and killed the 12 volt uh, feed. <laughs> um, so let's just prove that to you. Uh, we got the 12 volts back up. Um, you see the ammeter there, okay? Yeah, I'm going to need a new eBay pump. Um, hang on a sec. Let me get reconnected here to the inverter. Yeah, that was not the failure mechanism I was expecting. But this is the thing about testing. You never quite get the failure mechanism that you were expecting. Uh, let's see if I can restart this. Can I... Start in manual mode. Refresh. Yes, we're in manual run, and I should be able to just do a little bit of current just to see if anything indeed is dead. Oh, of course I've disconnected the high voltage. Genius. Sorry folks, one sec. See, this is what I get from, this is what I get for, this is what I get for chickening out of testing. I just don't have the necessary commitment. I am actually, it's a fairly cool day, but I think all the boiled coolant on the melted stator, I think all the boiled coolant on the melted stator is definitely, um, am I on AC current here? Don't see anything on the meter. Maybe it is dead. Is it dead? Hang on. Maybe we're actually maxing the heatsink temp now, are we? Well, the heatsink is pretty warm. It's at 80 degrees, so we'll give you that. Uh, we should be, do we have HV on there? I mean, we have HV. Do have HV, yeah. Ah, there it is. Yes, we do have HV. Yes, we do. Okay, so, ah. Do you know what it is? I didn't set my boost. I didn't have enough boost, folks. There we go. Never have too much boost. All right, let's try that again. Well, there's something there now. Get a bit more adventurous. Yeah, there we go, there's three amps or something. Okay, so we have not killed the inverter. Instead, we managed to kill my stupid eBay submersible pump which then uh, basically crowbarred the power supply and shut off the 12 volts uh, going to the inver inverter in the midst of it, by the way, uh, pumping about 250 RMS amps into that stator there. So, folks, I will leave it there for you. We hope you have enjoyed this video. That is not a fake multimeter. In fact, it's the only accurate meter that I own. Uh, so, Draw your own conclusions. I will not draw any conclusions for you. Would not be my place to do so. We shall return for MG1 once we get a new eBay submersible pump. Until that time, I would like to thank you for watching. Do not forget to dislike, unshare and unsubscribe. We will see you in the next episode. And until then, folks, happy stator melting.